Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Farming and Friends and the Farm. What has been going on at the farm, do you say? Well, we've had some different things happening here. Uh, we've got some new factories. We rearranged things. So I thought we'd just give a somewhat updated tour of what I have changed and what all is new. But first off, let's go ahead and give that shout out to the Delive Tribe. We have Dizzy Zombie. We have Teesbird. We have Team View. We have Adzer. We have Code Aztec. And we have Cole. Thank you guys for being part of the Delive Tribe and a member of my YouTube channel. That is what the Delive Tribe is. If you want to know anything about it, just click on the join button that's on my channel and it will tell you all the perks. One is I give you a shout out every time I do a video or live stream. So uh, hopefully you like what you see and you want to give it a try. But speaking of likes, if you like anything on this channel, by all means, give it a thumbs up want to comment down below by all means do so i read them i answer them and i appreciate them so thank you for those comments and last but not least for those of you who have just tuned in for the first time welcome welcome to the channel but if you've been here a while and you haven't hit that subscribe button by all means uh, if you can click that subscribe button tap that bell for notifications so we can let you know when another video is ready or when we're doing a live stream so you can come on in and join in the on the fun all right so let's go ahead this shouldn't be too long of a video uh unless i sit down there more <laughs> so as you can tell if you haven't watched my videos for a while it looks like we got uh oh we got azur in here looks like azur's over there working on theirs uh hello azur um azur's in here because yeah uh, I'm on my private server, and they are a Delight Tribe member. That's another one of the perks. But anyways, uh, I've taken the factories out here. Uh, you see there's a different factory here. I'm hoping that we don't get many more factories. I would like to make a little area here. Maybe I'll... Uh, I probably can't fence it all in. It had to be up to here. But that would look weird. I don't know. It'd be nice to fence it in. Because here, let's go ahead and we'll get this and we'll give it to her. I like to fence it in because then driving in, it would be about the same on each side. Uh, unless I do like a little fence in and I put in some um, alien tentacles over on this side. Or maybe some trees. I could do that. We could just do a little border. Might do that. Anyways, um... Over here is my main operation of my animals. We have a little area here that I created for shearing the sheep, making the wool bundles. Uh, we have the cows, of course we got the milking. And as you can see out here is the, uh, where I have my, it's an auto uh, booking barn, automatic barn. So it puts all that out there. You don't have to carry each one of those milk containers. I also have a couple liquid silos here that have, are filled with regular milk. So got a nice little establishment. We got the two chicken coops, got their feed. I have 10 or no, nine chickens. We have eight cows, 10 sheep, and I have a dog. I still have room for four more animals, but I'm doing good how it is. So I'm not too worried. If I did, maybe it'd be more cow. Uh, we have all my pallets here for feed. So all I had to do is just grab one of these and all I had to do is just plop it back in. So pretty simple, straightforward to the whole thing of taking care of my animals. The cool thing of how I have 
mine set up. We don't have the music. Weird. Sometimes it glitches out. But mine... There we go. I have my animal feed factory right here. You drop off what you want to make with it. I do rice because it only takes 10 rice to make a box of seeds. So I can get 60 boxes. Those 60 boxes are going to spawn right here. Well, you're like, well, why don't you have a trailer there, Delive? Or a, a flatbed trailer? Well, I just grab them from here. When I come out, and I bring them over and put them on my pallets. I just make sure I don't go down uh, down to no pal or no feed on my pallets. Otherwise, I'll lose them. So uh, I just keep replenishing them. So that's what I do here for mine. Again, this is my setup. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing that nice little tour around the farm. We finally added an accent of alien tentacles all the way around these areas. The alien tentacle takes standard soil, so I don't want to have anything where my harvester, like, oh, it is really dark, the back area. So I did start putting foliage in here. We got to get that finished up. Just that decoration, putting the uh, light post in here for light. Uh, Adding those decorations really makes your farm unique. Okay, so over here is the newest thing. Let's just go ahead and we'll climb the uh, liquid. This that I'm standing on is the cheese. You got it right. It's a cheese factory. Hey, it's quite cheesy. I have already made two. I can only do two. It only takes milk. Either free range or uh, regular. I don't think you can put spoiled in here. You don't want any uh, stinky cheese. So, but basically, what this is is you take uh, it's increments of four, I believe, but it takes two milk. That's why you're still saying two and nothing's on this. But it takes two milk to make one cheese. So you figure what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, 16, 18, 18 times 3, so that would be 8 times 3 is 24, add the 3 makes 54, but you would need 56, did I lose you? <laughs> so 56 regular milk or 28 free range will get you a pallet of cheese, so there's how that works. We've got our usual um, chocolate milk factory. I have done upgrades to my chocolate milk factory to make it 200%. What does that mean? That means I get a free bottle of chocolate milk for everyone made. If I make 10 chocolate milk, I'm going to get 10 free ones. So, pretty cool. We've got a little gazebo. I might change this area around a little bit. This is mainly my... My main center of operations for money. I really don't need money in the game anymore because I'm so high up. I do those tasks. I do the things to show you, you what is going on in farming and friends and what are cool things. So, but this is where I got all the tankers. Um, we got a little shed here that has extra amount of if I have somebody maybe help it on the farm, it has extra chocolate milk that you can't really see because it's dark. Nighttime. Nighttime on the farm. The other cool thing that they have is the honey operations. So let's go ahead and turn this around. That's on this back part here. So you have to have a B license. To get the B license, because people ask, you have to have 200 bond money to get the B license. Once you get the license, you buy the bees at Animal Co., which is down that road right there, to Animal Co. I am on plot one. You got Farm Co. here. I have the uh, vehicle store or vehicle co. And then there's your uh, animal code down there. That's where you get your bees at. 
So uh, you also had to buy hives, and then you had to buy the honey factory. So my honey factory is already full. As you can see, there's a lot of screens right there. And I have this super sea of honey is what I call it. And we have some, I just want to clean them. I'm just going to press E once. Clean. Clean. So yeah, it takes to make a pallet of, with the four drums of honey, it takes 24 screens to make that. It takes three screens to make a half a barrel. So six screens to make a barrel. There's four barrels on a pallet. Six times four is 24. You can only carry eight at a time. And then you plop them over here. Uh, with that being said, then you get three full arm loads of screens. And then you can make a pallet of honey. All right, moving on to the next part of this tour. As some of you have been asking. So this is the honey oatmeal factory. So yes, we have cereal. Uh, what you do here is you place one full thing of honey right here. I got 10 in storage right underneath. I do not know if it caps out. And then you bring oat. Oat is one of the newer uh, crops. So it takes 100 oats and one pallet of honey to make one pallet. You guessed it. Honey oatmeal cereal. Even got the maze on back for you to do. So that's that factory. On my back part, I still have my 252 crop uh, regular field. Right now there's weed in there. Oh, and I do have more liquid silos here. This is starting of chocolate milk. So, got that there. Over here, we got the five silos. We've got wheat, rice, oats, chocolate, or cocoa. And then the last one I leave empty to do my tasks, which I don't have any tasks to going on, but it would be here. If I have to like sell something, then I just bring in one of my uh, crop trailers, crop haulers that have like cabbage or whatever else. Cabbage, there's sugar cane, there's rice. You get the point. So, so yeah, if you want to look at that a little more, just check about doing tasks quick uh, on the farm. All right, you'll you'll see a lot of them. Uh, back here, I have the oven, and I make my cake butter. The oven now is automated. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. This is storage. If I got any cakes that I need to store, uh, that was beforehand. So um, but I got my seed here, and then in here, they changed it to where I don't know what the top is. We have 250 batter here, but we have 32 already made. I haven't had any cakes to make yet. I'm hoping when I take one of these, one will pop right over, but I don't know because they're all dark. So I can't tell you. I don't know if that tip for having eight all ready to go is over with, or when I pull one of these, these count. I don't know. Uh, well, that will be probably a later video. So let's go ahead and keep on going with the tour. Over here, we've got my cocoa field, which is 600 cocoa uh, trees. And then I have in my storage here, I have the oxbow to go ahead and harvest those. So our last little spot would be probably our cake factory. I do have it right against my big warehouse. And back here, I don't know if I'll change this up. And make a smaller one like over here, right there by the honey. That little overhang. Or like I have it set up here for the wool. Just to put a few pallets in. But these egg pallets or, or eggs are for doing my batter. 
and then I pull, of course, normal wheat, and then I just add my milk to when I need those boxes of cake batter. That's basically it. That's the whole wraparound of the uh, farm of mine, anyhow. What, we done it here in less than 20. This is basically my big warehouse. As you can tell, it is becoming a cereal warehouse. I have been, and I got like my some cakes ready to go if I need to sell them, some wheat. Uh, the equipment manager is really cool, storing your uh, machines that you don't, or your equipment that you're not using. So that gives a lot more room in your farm to plant crops, things like that, because you don't have to have all those vehicles stored somewhere. So, I mean, I could store all these if I wanted to, but it's just something, because that's my operation. Again, this is this is my little area. I mean, some people only have one road. Some people have none. All these roads could be used for more crop. So you don't have to have that. You don't have to have a house. It's up to you. But you know what? It's your build. It's your farm. And you can make it however you like. So remember, everyone, get out there. Do those things that you enjoy that make you feel good inside. And put a smile on your face. Because all of you here put a smile on mine. You fill me up inside with happiness because I know you're all watching. And the other thing, you, yes, you, you're amazing. All of you. We'll see you on the next one, everyone. Bye now.